another day on our recent new episode of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. We had two new short little episodes, Lobster Claws and Sleep Spells. In the episode Lobster Claws, we got to see Star and Marco argue over whether or not a lobster monster had any good in him and could be reformed to serve good after his evil boss fired him. Marco tried several different ways to try and prove that the monster had good in him and to do something good and helpful to other people but his monstrous habits kept showing through and he kept making a mess of the situation, causing all kinds of destruction and panic and harm everywhere he went. But Marto never gave up on the monster. Star, on the other hand, insisted that monsters are evil and will always be evil and formed a plan to have a fake fight wherein she would throw the fight and pretend to lose a battle to the monster so that the monster would appear to be competent in the eyes of his boss and would get his job back. During this fight, the monster grabs Star's wand as they planned, although perhaps not in the way that they intended, and we get to see what happens when evil things hold the wand. The wand has the ability to transform its shape to whoever holds the wand, and we see that the wand can't make up its mind between two different forms, meaning that while the monster had inherent evil in him, he did have a small amount of good. So both Star and Marco were right about the monster. He did have evil in him, but he also had a little tiny bit of good. At the end of the episode, the monster goes back to serve evil and has newfound respect from the other monsters. Star and Marco are both victorious and both were right about each other's points, and both have come around to switch positions and take up the other's point of view. In sleep spells, we see Star casting all kinds of magic in her sleep. Marto takes it upon himself to live out his dream of being a psychiatrist and tries to analyze Star's problems believing, as the audience naturally would, from the hints dropped in the background, that Star's psychological problems and her lack of sleep and her sleep spelling were all related to her mother issues and the stress that she felt from her mother always demanding the very best of her. But then it turned out that there was a monster hiding someplace and the monster was trying to kidnap Star and steal her face so the two of them could switch places and Star could get the monster's punishment and the monster could go free impersonate Star. And then Marto tries to psychoanalyze the monster only to have that not work so Marto just throws his psychiatry book at the monster and knocks it off a roof. Throughout the entire episode, uh, Marta was trying to keep tally of who saved whose life more often, but eventually came to the conclusion that it didn't matter who saved whose life more often because they both have each other's backs. Once again, the episodes were short and not big for teaching morals, but what they did do good was they threw some fun twists into the expectations that the audience would have had for the story. They took some verbal and visual risks as they told the story and went a few places you wouldn't normally 
expect from a kid's cartoon, and they did some very interesting world building by showing the magic wand transforming when the monster got his claws on it. All in all, it was overall the typical weird unexpectedness that you expect from these episodes, with an occasional continuity stuck in the background with those uh, laser shooting puppies still being on the loose. A fun time, a fun pair of episodes, but again, nothing spectacular to rave on about but still worth checking out. Uh, let me know if you do. Thank you for watching and good night.